volume, intensity, and speed. Chorus vibrato, that's all you need. My name is Thomas Ivanroth. I play guitar and write music in the band T-Rexico. The Beach Boys inspire me every day. Their music speaks to me. They made music as a family, so I make music with my brother, and it's, it's that connection with family where it's synchronized in thinking and playing. With Brian Wilson, Carl, and, and Dennis, Mike, they're their family, and they're able to transmute that in their singing and songwriting. I grew up listening to the Beach Boys all the time. My parents loved the Beach Boys. Pet Sounds was on repeat throughout my childhood. One thing particularly about Pet Sounds that inspires me a lot is the stories about when Brian Wilson was producing it. After hearing the Beatles, people told him that he shouldn't put it out, that it wasn't going to work, it was too experimental, it took too many risks, and everyone around him was telling him that the public wouldn't understand it and it wouldn't be a hit. And obviously we know now that that's one of the best albums ever made and all of those experiments and risks that Brian Wilson took really paid off. And that's something that I carry with me all the time when I think about trying new things and pushing myself and doing experimental stuff that maybe not everyone else is going to understand or vibe with, but I just keep in mind that Often the best music comes from taking risks and, and experimenting and pushing yourself and that is something that I really try to incorporate. To watch them slowly die and call it beauty. Let's try it out. We're called Suede. Started in high school, Ralph was like the glue that bring us all together. I love the Beach Boys. I grew up listening to them. They've had a really big impact on me because the story of Brian Wilson and Pet Sounds was just very unique and interesting to me. I also love Beach Boys vocal harmonies. I think they're very beautiful and they've influenced my music immensely. Hi, my name is Ikaika. I am in the band Flamingo Bay. I'm the guitarist and songwriter and singer. I did take a history of rock class at my community college and we talked for like two full classes about Pet Sounds and the Beach Boys and their influence on like production. The commitment to like experimenting and like being experimental no matter what. I was very inspired by those classes and got to listen to that album a lot and really enjoyed it. My name is Holden Miller. I make indie singer songwriter music, pretty much everything under that umbrella. My name is Michael Edwards. I'm a producer songwriter. I have a soft spot for the Beach Boys in my heart. My dad raised me on 60s and 70s music and I have very nostalgic memories of like late night, you're a kid, you're falling asleep in the back of the car on a road trip or something and I just remember my dad blasting the Beach Boys all the time, so they're very special to me. I also have like some childhood nostalgia with them of like, my sister and I remember had like only like three CDs that we would just like play on repeat. And one of them was this like compilation of like Beach Boys greatest hits. I think over time like learned a lot more about kind of like how impressive their music actually is and, and how complex all of it is. And it's kind of given me much more of an appreciation for just like, I don't know how incredible they are as a band. Everything is a band that we've had for about uh, like five years now. My dad had a Pet Sound CD that I would listen to in his large binder of CDs and I liked that album a lot as a kid and really like the melodies and like the harmony in that album and especially like God Only Knows, it's really cool. The first Beach Boys song that I heard was Little Saint Nick. I grew up with that song throughout my childhood. My dad would play the Beach Boys when I was younger. And then later on, someone told me to listen to Pet Sounds vocals only, which you can find on YouTube, and that blew my mind. My name is Anna Bettendorf. I am a mainly a keyboard and synth player, but I also play guitar and bass. I grew up hearing a lot of Beach Boys music in my house. I know how meaningful the Beach Boys are to my dad, so I invited him to come see the talk with me, and this is what he wrote about it. Last month, my Berkeley-born daughter, now at UCLA, invited me to see Brian Wilson speak on the UCLA campus. I struggled to explain to her what it was like growing up in Iowa and listening incessantly to Beach Boys records on the tiny record player in my room, images of fantasy world California flooding in my head. When I got admitted to Cal in 1987, of course I came to Berkeley. I found the fantasy real and I never left. I told her, Brian Wilson is probably the reason I live in California. 
and by extension, the reason you live in California. Hey, what's up? We're at Dark Daisy. <laughs> <laughs> I think we're really inspired by like the layering and just attention to detail on you know making these huge soundscapes being a five-piece band you know we get to devote whole persons you know at a time to just making sounds and like just trying to keep it textural and interesting and so i think we're really inspired by by that in the beach boys music growing up by the beach they were just always on my parents had great music taste so they were always playing it getting older and finding like surfs up and you know sunflower and stuff like that it's huge like pet sounds for example it's like they'd write a perfect song and then destroy it in the coolest way possible with the craziest stuff my name is Mia, and I sing and play guitar and write and produce for my Veronica. I feel like a lot of the music I'm directly inspired by pulls from the 70s guitar tones and the even earlier 60s kind of Beach Boy sound. I loved the way that they just created this like fantasy world of surfing and cars and beach, and it was kind of reflective of my childhood, which was so cool. I'm super inspired by the world building at the Beach Boys. I love that even though they weren't like super surfers back in the day, they just created this whole world. And when I was a kid, listening to them I just believed that they were like in the water every single day I love that their songs tell stories and then I love just like the sonic experimentation of the group the vocal layers and the harmonies are incredible what they did with guitars is so cool and I love just remembering that this was before the digital era too and they just were so creative with mixing pedals and amps and cool sounds we have two knobs one switch one more even out here. There's so many things you can get from it though. I feel like a lot of pedals don't make a lot of sense, but this one is just like volume, intensity, speed. And it's just like out there for you. And I really like chorus and vibrato in general, so it's always fun to hear a new chorus and a new vibrato. I feel like it does have like a very atmospheric vibe to it, which is really nice. I think if they were going for good vibrations, they got it. It does make me feel like I could make more music that's inspired by the Beach Boys. It does make me feel inspired to make some fun, surfy, big songs with lots of vocal harmonies. I think this pedal makes you a Beach Boy. Good vibration is a good pedal.